Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Light 2605 RL. This is a couples model, you have a big super slide here, huge rear picture window with a couple of rockers in the back, and you have some great angles to the TV because it's slightly different than a lot of other manufacturers that make a similar floor plan. Let's actually start off right here in the back. So as I mentioned, you have two swivel rockers. This will probably be the, the spot you'll spend the majority of your time just because you know you walk in, you sit down, it's comfortable, you can read a book or look at your tablet. You have kind of the center table right here. So if you need to set a beverage down, you have the capability to do that. And you can spin your chair right around and enjoy the gorgeous view out the big rear picture window there. You'll also see you have windows on both sides, so it really helps brighten up this space, making it uh, feel nice and open. A couple LED lights right up top help again if you're going to do any reading. And you have storage going all the way across the top here. You can see that uh, kind of tinted glass on there. So if you put you know, some items in there you don't want people to see, it doesn't have to look pretty. You can just jam it up there with board games or whatever else you need. Another thing I want to point out is this right here. You have a vent, so if you want to open up some windows, open that up. You can get some airflow. But more importantly is the fact that this one is already prepped and braced for a second AC. So it has the one here ducted throughout. If you want a second one, having the prep will allow you to do that. Then moving over to the super slide, you will see the jackknife sofa. I like the jackknife sofas in here because what they do is they give you the removable armrests. Even though they're nothing fancy, I mean, it's essentially just a, a foam cylinder with a wrap here. At least it gives you a place to put your arm. It makes it a lot more comfortable. And, you know, if you want to snuggle up, you can put that up, have a couple of you here snuggle with your lover. Or you can drop it down just like that. And it kind of creates a, a pseudo theater seating. That way you have a spot to put both of your arms. You have cup holders in there as well. Cool thing about this is if you have guests, you can be sitting in the chair, have them there, and it creates uh, excellent conversation space. And same thing, even if people are in the dinette, you know, everyone can kind of be involved in that convo. You'll also see right up top here that you have some additional storage there, and of course, another LED light. Again, notice the windows. You have big windows throughout the entire slide right here. That's kind of a recurring theme that we're seeing. They're trying to bring in a lot of that light, make it more open, and the windows certainly help with that effect. You'll see the dinette here, uh, plenty of room for four people to comfortably sit. I'll kind of sit here just to give you an idea. You know, you have lots of elbow room so everyone can have a meal here or play a game together. This also does drop down into a bed if you need the additional sleeping space. You just remove the poles right here from the flange in the floor as well as in the table. The table itself will then drop down, sit right here along these rails, take the back cushions, toss them on top, and that will be the additional bed. Right up here, you'll see the thermostat. This does control both the ducted AC as well as the ducted heat. And moving over a little bit is the entertainment center. So you'll see that they have a, uh, a backer in the wall right here so you know exactly where to mount the TV. And you know, you can have it come over a little bit. Uh, you know, if you have like a swing arm mount, so that way you can get a little bit bigger TV here as well. And then the connections for it are there. You'll also see that you have the audio video jacks right here, which are connected to this multimedia center. Uh, this unit is a DVD player, so you can pop a movie in there. That's what those are for. It also is Bluetooth capable. Right underneath that, you'll see this is actually pretty usable storage. It goes back a pretty good ways. So, you know, if you want to use this kind of as like a, a pantry, it makes an excellent spot for it. Even though, you know, it's underneath the TV, it's still in close proximity here to the kitchen. Fridge freezer combo, open that up for you. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Stainless steel looking panels right there on the front. Kind of the same thing with the microwave, that stainless steel look. They went with a uh, black hood here with a light and a fan. And directly underneath is your recessed cooktop with the uh, three burners and the glass cover. That way you can use this as a prep space. This just folds up and back like so. It's spring loaded, so it pops up nice and easy. Doubles as a backsplash, which opens up your three burners. You have this little light right here, so you can light up these knobs. Not only does this look cool, but it also can create a nice courtesy light if you have guests that are sleeping out in this main living area. So if they have to get up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night, they can see. Oven right there if you want to do some baking. And right over next to that, underneath the sink, you'll see you have plenty of room for a trash can. Two drawers here. They are nice and deep, so that way you have uh, plenty of room for some of your larger utensils, not just your flatware, but some of your bigger items that you're able to put in there, and you have enough room for hand towels, things like that. Double bowls undermount sink. They has a thermoformed countertop on here, which allows you to undermount the bowl like this. This one has a smaller bowl on the left, bigger one on the right. You also have the high-rise pull-out faucet, which makes washing and rinsing dishes easier. 
You see the window right there, so you have a view outside. You also have a light right up top, and then, as you would expect, storage up top here, too. Right outside the bathroom, you'll see that this one does have a linen closet, so it gives you a space to put all of your uh, hand towels, washcloths, bath towels, all that. It's pretty convenient. And then we do step inside. Foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of leg room here. Plenty of space for the shoulders as well. The one entrance obviously goes out in the main living area. The other one right here into the master bedroom. Right in front of me is the sink top. You'll see space on both sides, which is great. Big uh, bowl in there as well. And plenty of storage underneath so you have enough room for a trash can. Right up top, mirrored medicine cabinet, vent fan there on the ceiling, neo angle shower here. I'll take a step in just to give you a kind of an idea of height. So I am six foot. As you can see, I do have a little bit of space here before the ceiling. So even if you're a little bit taller, you know, six one, you can still probably stand in there without having to bend down. Much taller than that, you may uh, have to bend over just a little bit. In the bedroom, you have a residential size 60 by 80 inch queen bed. Great thing about that is if you're a little bit taller, you don't have to worry about your feet hanging off again because it is residential size. Same thing if you wanna buy a uh, like an upgraded mattress or something later down the road, it's a lot easier to find. Good storage underneath, easy to access that as well. Nightstands on both sides with drawers and you have electrical outlet and USB port down there so you can plug everything in. You'll see wardrobe on both sides, mirrored doors there. Storage going across the top. Again, that is uh, tinted glass, so if you need to put like your underwear and stuff up there, you can. Over on the far side, you'll see you have a spot for uh, TV, so you know exactly where to mount that. Uh, there, again, is a backer in the wall. Connections are right there on the ceiling. And last thing I want to touch on is the fact you do have another entrance in here. So if you have guests that are sleeping out in the main living area, you can enter and exit the RV without disturbing them. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Light 2605 RL. Right up front here is your power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle because rather than having to manually crank it, you can just flip the rocker switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see that you have a light at night there, so you can just flip that on for some added visibility. Right behind that, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover, and a little bit further back yet are the rails for your battery. Coming up the front is the diamond etched plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And you'll see this sticker right here showing that the Coleman has a three year structural warranty, which is currently the best in the industry. On the side, this one is solar prepped. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there and it will trickle charge your battery. And for the front storage, you'll see that it has a covered hinge. So you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It is slam latch and magnetic. When you take a look inside, you can see how much space you have in here. This is a massive pass-through. It also has the LED light strip there for light at night, but take a look at the size of this door, folks. It's huge. You know, a lot of times the door would stop like right here. Not at all the case, it's very wide. So if you have like the big executive chairs, you're still able to fit those in the pass-through. This is the secondary entrance. This one goes into the master bedroom. Because it's secondary, they just give you the two foldable steps instead of the three, and then a little bit smaller grab handle here. Power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. It has the LED light strip on there as well, so you have light at night. Black tank flush, this is a super handy feature. So rather than having to you know, stick a hose down your toilet when you're done camping or drop a bunch of ice cubes in your black tank to try to clean out you know, everything that gets left behind, you simply hook a hose up right here. That black tank has sprayers built into it and it will wash everything out for you. You also have TV hookup. So if you want TV outside, you have a cable outlet, an electrical outlet right there. Just set up a table, put the TV on, you're good to go. Make your way back a little bit further here. You have two outside speakers. As I mentioned, we were inside. Uh, those are controlled by that multimedia center, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can sit right out here on your smartphone and be able to somewhat operate that. Fresh water inlet will be here. So if you plan on going somewhere, you don't have water hookup, you'll wanna make sure you fill the fresh water tanks. And then your primary entrance is right here in the back. And so as I mentioned, because it is the primary entrance, they give you the three foldable steps and then the larger grab handle here, as you'll be using this one more often and this bigger grab handle gives you a better control. In the very back, 
You have the rear mounted uh, bumper here. This one is a square tubular bumper, pop off the end caps. It gives you a spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Also the spare tire is mounted to that. The great thing about this is this is one of the easiest places to get to the spare. You know, you can just take it off right here. You don't have to get down underneath the trailer or on your hands and knees in the mud and dirt to access that. Tucked away right over here, now this is a 50 amp detachable power cord. As if you recall, we were inside, I said this one is prepped for a second AC. Part of that prep is the 50 amp power source, so that's what you have. Then the cable inlet is right back here as well. You can see that rear picture window I talked about, and if you look up top, you'll also notice this one has a backup camera prep, so that way if you want a backup camera, having the prep will make it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. On the off-door side, you will see the city water inlet right up top here. Underneath that is the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. You also have the hand wand. And if we drop down, you will see your termination right here with both your black and gray tank valves. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Light 2605 RL. If you're interested in this couple's model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker. Let's go camping.